morning. <coughs> Let me present uh, my project on regression analysis. My problem statement is um, what are the factors affecting life expectancy uh, in the country? Is it um, dengue cases or is it um, the GDP of the country or is it uh, the environment performance index? <coughs> These are the features I've explored, downloaded from various sources um, birth rate, cancer rate, dengue cases, um, how well the country performed in its uh, environmental performance, uh, the GDP, um, etc. My target is life expectancy, and the assumption is um, these are country level average, and uh, it doesn't uh, distinguish between male and female. First, I did a correlation between features. Uh, there are some strong correlation between features. For example, um, a country that uh, spend more on health um, expenditure uh, performs also better in uh, environmental. Um, things like a big country will have a higher population, but it's okay <coughs> because uh, they are quite independent still. How about the correlation between the features and target? Quite strong correlation. To live a long life, you should have a, a lower stroke rate. You should spend more on health expenditure. You should do better in environment, and you should have less babies. <laughs> okay, pair plot between features. <coughs> um, there are some outliers um, to, to be removed. The data is quite sparse. And after removing the outliers, uh, data is still, is still quite skewed to the right. And data is all squashed to the left. So this suggests that um, I need to do some transformation. Okay, first I do some feature selection. What I did was I dropped individual feature one by one and see how much uh, it affects the R-square value. So I decided I should keep these three features because uh, without them, the R-square will be adversely affected. Next, uh, I, do, I remove the outliers and then I gain one more significant uh, feature. <coughs> Next, I do transformation to all the features. Um, I gain four more significant variables, uh, significant features. Uh, then I do further square root, square root, no more improvement, so I stop there. Uh, this would suggest that um, the features I've selected are important. And then I do a pair plot again. After transformation, after dropping the insignificant features, um, the, the, the points are now all um, looks better. It's no longer um, skewed to one side. So I proceed to do um, training and validation. Um, I, I did um, four different types of model, linear, rich, lasso, and uh, polynomial. And I find that the simple linear regression has the greatest potential. This is further confirmed by cost validation. For a linear model, I get the, the best score. So I check the assumptions and look at the residual plot. They are, they could be better. Okay, and I did a test on the uh, test data. A, and I did a tenfold uh, test and uh, the results are quite okay. <coughs> quite big variations are uh, like between 0.49 and 0.82. Uh, the average is about 0.7. Okay, how do we interpret the model? These are the eight significant features. Um, without being affected by the features, you are expected to live 62 years. So for every, uh, if you live in a country with low birth rate, you will add six more years to your life. And if your country performs better in environment, you will add eight more years to your life. And if you live in a rich country, you will add about half a year to your life. And all the way down, if a country has got low stroke rate, you will add five more years to your life. For every unit or, or log unit increase in the stroke rate, or uh, reduce in the stroke rate, you will gain five more years to your life. Okay, next steps, what I can explore. <coughs> I can, um, it's possible to expand my scope to cities instead of countries because there are only 200 countries in the world, so if, uh, if I have uh, data on cities, then I will have more. Um, also, to include more features, maybe there are other factors other than the eight features I've selected that will affect your life expectancy, and also to split the life expectancy, distinguish between male and female. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.